Hello, I'm John Olson from Washington University in St. Louis. In this edition of the Journal of the American College of Surgeons, my colleagues and I report the first technical feasibility study of combined thyroid and parathyroid organ transplantation from the neck into the axilla. So why did we do this? Well, it turns out that uh, after total thyroidectomy, a small but not insignificant number of patients develop chronic and severe hypoparathyroidism that can be refractory to medical therapy. For these patients, it's been shown that their quality of life is quite poor and their healthcare utilization can be quite high. It's our idea that parathyroid transplantation in the form of a combined organ graft could help these patients alleviate the symptoms of hypoparathyroidism. So why is our study different? Well, it turns out that most times parathyroid transplantation is done by mincing the parathyroid gland and pl implanting it in a muscle. Our idea was to transplant it as a whole organ in combination with a thyroid lobe using a vascularized model. It's also novel in that we tested this procedure not in the usual animal model setting, but in a perfused human cadaver. It's our feeling that the use of a perfused human cadaver often used for educational purposes, can alleviate the use of animals in developing new surgical procedures. This is the first step in our planned program of developing combined thyroid-parathyroid transplantation for the treatment of chronic hypoparathyroidism following total thyroidectomy.